I really appreciate that they uh, decided to update things on a Saturday. I think they updated it on Thursday or Friday. So, yeah, I don't know why they did it at the end of the week so that then they would have no time to fix any potential issues. If only they had, like, some standardized day that they updated everything. You know, like, Tuesday. (laughs) They've only been doing that for 20 years, and they decided that they needed a patch just the other day on a random time just to break everything. How's it going, guys, in chat? Uh, Warcraft 3 has exploded exploded i suspect they knew w- whenever they were going to do it they were like eh you know we're not going to fix it anyway so just put it up whenever <laughs> the intern doesn't get a clock he's in his uh, windowless room chained there he doesn't know what day it is he just pushes the update when it's done exactly uh so i went to your channel and i got my my typical twitch ad and it was for marshmallow coca-cola I am disgusted. That sounds horrible. Why does that exist? Why is that on my channel? I'm offended. I I shudder just thinking about this. What is happening? That is like the type of thing that a Raid Shadow Legends gamer drinks. (laughs) This is the worst timeline. (laughs) Uh, I like how your stream, you just have the installing window up. (laughs) Liz, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. We're reinstalling the game because it's broken and I'm stuck on the lion screen otherwise. So we just have to install the game. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's, let's, let's hit the chat with some food takes. We've all heard your infamous egg take. I do, okay, no, one. no, let me let me rephrase. Like, I specifically said eggs are good in things. I just don't enjoy them on their own. I don't even so, dislike eggs. Please don't get me more hate. <laughs> in every in every way that they're prepared, you'd say that as long as they're not with someone, like you wouldn't like a poached egg or a scrambled egg or an, just any sense of the well, hard I mean, boiled egg. If it's like, uh, you know, if it's a small part of another meal, like if you're gonna do an English muffin with like a poached egg and you know, some of the fancy stuff, then yeah, that's great. It's just, I don't want an egg on its own. Gotcha. (laughs) Okay. You're starting drama. (laughs) You're starting a little deeper on this. I don't want to get canceled. Okay. Okay, (laughs) We can go on to a different food. How do you feel about crab? Um, you know, I used to really enjoy it. I think it's a bit of a chore. Uh, like crab legs are are why it shouldn't it's a lot of work we'll for... see i think that that's it's an activity right true there's something to do it's like playing a game versus watching tv it engages the mind a bit more makes it a more interactive uh activity <laughs> it does and because if you crack it wrong you can sometimes cut yourself on the sharp crab shards then it's dangerous too it's got the thrill you're gonna get the adrenaline pumping hmm I like, you know, I've liked crab cakes. I've liked um, lobster, well, no, crabs in mac and cheese. I think crab is a good addition to many things. I, uh, I, I don't eat much shellfish anymore. I, uh, this is, it's a very hypocritical take. I don't want to dive too deep into it, but I, I really don't enjoy how crab and lobster is typically prepared. Mm-hmm. I think that's fine. Uh, yeah. But like I eat all sorts of meat, so it's again, it's it's not it's not I'm not super consistent in this area. But that that one specifically does it. It gives me the willies a little bit. Well, I've always known that you're not a very shellfish person, so very nice. <laughs> okay, here's one. What are your thoughts on sauerkraut? A sauerkraut is a sometimes food for me. Like, it's very, very good for you, and I think, like, if you put it on a Reuben sandwich or something, it's absolutely delicious, but it's not something that I would just eat every day. Maybe I haven't had any good sauerkraut, but in general, I don't really like vinegar, and I realize there isn't actually vinegar in sauerkraut, but it tastes very much like it has a lot of vinegar in it, and I've just never, never liked it. So I I think that is true for every pickled substance, is that there is a huge disparity between the good and the bad. For example, I think that the average kimchi that you get in the United States is nasty. But if you have really good Korean restaurant kimchi, it's like a completely different food. And sauerkraut's the same. Gotcha. Well, I'll have to I'll have to be on the lookout for some better sauerkraut. Cuz I I love corned beef. I would love to have a good Reuben sandwich, but I just I can't bring myself to have a sandwich with sauerkraut on it. 
It's okay. When you inevitably come to Portland, we'll get you a good Reuben. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> is is the Pacific Northwest sort of like New England in that seafood is like a really big thing up there too? Not really big, but we do have decent access to it because the absurd volume of seafood that comes out of Alaska is fairly fresh over here. Mm -hmm. uh, we do export a decent amount of seafood. For example, Oregon is, I believe, still the world's number one exporter of hagfish because no one eats it here. But we can sell it to uh, mostly South Korea, who really likes it. Oh, okay. And yeah, we have a we have a good bit of seafood, but I wouldn't say it's like a cultural identity type thing. It's just like a yeah, we're having seafood, we're having seafood. Why do people there not want to eat the hagfish? Google a hagfish. <laughs> They're gross. So you're you're saying this is like America's version of the durian? Yes. I mean, I mean, nothing could be quite as bad as a durian, but... The hagfish can create, like, five times its body weight in mucus in the span of two minutes or something. They're really... Oh, no. They're crazy. Okay, I'm looking at a picture. Oh, that is not what I expected. <laughs> that is not a fish at all. That is... No, uh, they it's are... Weird. I don't even remember if they're chordates. And they're like... Well, someone does. We at least someone buys them. We don't ask oh. what happens after that. So I guess it is like our durian. It's actually gross. Yeah. I had someone ask me what a durian tastes like, and I honestly couldn't even. I couldn't even describe it. The only way I could say was like musty, like musky. I don't know. It's just it's it's gross. I don't know why we even consider them a food that people could eat. I, I honest to this day, I still think, I think it was like a joke that people in Asia played on like colonizers. They're like, oh, welcome here. Have this local fruit, <laughs> knowing that it was disgusting. And then there's the other side of things where there's stuff like dragon fruit, which is supposed to be super cool and delicious and doesn't have much flavor. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Especially people will give you like juice and they're like, there's dragon fruit in it. And you're like, it just, it tastes like a... berries. Like nothing. Yeah, the only it. reason that people like it is because it has the name dragon in it. And honestly, you can make anything good that way. Mm. I agree with this take. Sorry, see, guys. Uh, we are, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we have 93% on this install. I know you guys can see it, but we just, we have to reinstall because technical issues with the patch. We're hoping that it works. And we're almost there. Oh, gosh. And if it I doesn't, it does. we'll be sad. Because we have no backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> we just talk about food for three hours. <laughs> Bring in random viewers to give us their spiciest food take. Oh, no. But we're white men. We can't eat spicy food. Well, that's I was going to I was bringing up how did you see that Sri Racha? There's like a big shortage. They like shut a bunch of the factories down because they don't have the ingredients. Oh, that's that's actually horrible because sriracha is one of the few spices that I really do enjoy. Yeah, you can't find it anywhere anywhere anymore. <sighs> Goodbye, noble rooster. Yeah. They started putting sriracha in like everything, though. Once it became popular, it would be like, here's your sriracha popsicle and here's your sriracha mayonnaise. And it's like, what? Why? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't like mayonnaise anyway, but. Ugh. Well, OK, you scramble an egg. You put some salt and pepper and some sriracha in there. It's like a whole different plate. Yeah. Oh, oh no. I see the lion's face. <sighs> it's, uh, it's still happening. I'm still stuck at the door. Uh, I don't know how you got in. Like, do you got to knock? <laughs> you got to you gotta reach onto the screen. Like it's a door knocker. Yeah, so guys, what happens is if I click play again, all it does is open a second instance of Warcraft 3 that also doesn't open. You check your task manager to see if you have any instances of that or the BNET launcher that's like running in the background. Maybe just close all that and. I'll give it a shot. Oh, everything's moving. But not the door. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh, your stream is frozen. Yeah, everything's going cray now. 
maybe I should is. maybe I should restart my computer. Maybe that'll help. Turn it off back on again. We'll be back. <laughs> Okay, guys, I apologize for this. Uh, Blame Blizzard. They are a company that doesn't actually test. I think we're back. Oh, we just got to wait for people. Oh, this is exciting. All it took was 20 minutes. Why is Razer updating my... Ma no. <laughs> Why is everything <laughs> How updating? How you restart your computer? <laughs> it was like three days. It wasn't that long. Oh, that, yeah, that's not that long. It's just apparently everything out of patch in the last three days. I better not get another a, a marshmallow Coke ad, Grant. <laughs> Just use Adblock, please. I don't want to subject you to this. It's, I guess it's Adblock for Twitch. We went over this before, though. Okay. Right, right. Hey, uh, it's it's supporting you. Uh, if Stick you support I, some support's not worth having. I see. Okay. War crimes of soda definitely are not worth supporting. I agree that yeah, that's doing a lot of harm to the world. Okay, guys, I need to ask you, is everything is everything up? Is everything active? Is everything okay? Is the sound right? There shouldn't be any... You, there is now a small window in the middle of your screen. Oh, yeah, that was... <laughs> Thank you. Get rid of that. I kind of like it. It's charming. You should leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone would be really happy and not confused about it, which... I wish I would have captured all of that. <laughs> on a local recording it was a, that was an adventure well we have the stream vod don't worry that's true <laughs> it'll it won't be as beautiful from my perspective but it will be okay hi guys um let me let me just uh do the discord announcement and stuff because we're only 20 minutes late now i apologize oh yeah you know what let me send mine as well for people in the in the YouTube video in the future, um, you got about a month before Twitch deletes the VOD if you want to go and watch Grant's Adventures reinstalling the game and us talking about food for approximately 20 minutes while we waited for it to reinstall. But it was Blizzard's fault because of the patch. You let me know Perfect. when you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm excited to be a fish once again. <laughs> Wait, so what is the fish? What is this? I'm a fish. That's my people. We're the fish. You're the... You're the elf, I'm the fish. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I thought this was some Grant community meme that I wasn't caught up on or something, but I, I gotcha. No, this was a special bond between me and you, and I can't believe you forgot over the span of a week. Well, so I'm not, I'm not a fish. You're the fish. It's because I'm more efficient. I guess so. <laughs> well, you got the chat Maybe saying, I'm just we are fish. That's not true. We're half fish. We're mermen. <laughs> mermen dawn. Are tech is are the Naga technically mermen and mermaids though? They're humanoid. I feel like they're more serpentine than the average mer. I agree. I agree with this. Because they're not like and... half fish, half man in like the typical sense. No, not at all. They're definitely more like eel oh where'd you go what we i'm so, i'm oh. on the loading screen oh uh, no okay well i finished loading and you are not here my dude oh, you no. have disconnected this is gonna be a real a real treat today isn't it oh yeah well let's have you remake that lobby and we'll see if i don't have to restart the client because okay. maybe the patch fixed that Okay. I did boot this map up because I checked earlier today. I was like, is this going to work later? And I checked, and it I was able to open it by myself. So, uh. Okay. Custom games. Create. I really hope I can join without closing the client every time because now I'm really scared about reopening the client. <laughs> So tell me when the lobby is open. It is open now. Oh. Okay, well, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> uh, so you are going to have to restart? restart? Every time. I cannot believe. <laughs> they just they keep making Warcraft 3 better and better. I can't believe it. Innovation. This Yeah, I think we can all agree. This is a huge step up from 2000, 2003. Big step up. 